Christmas Eve in the fish room. Ninety gallon mixed African circlet tank. You guys are doing great. They're growing. I've lost a few, but they're doing good. We got one in the back over here hiding. Right there. Holding fry. We have another little guy over here. Never mind, swim up to the top. It, it's ready to go. Bottom tank are hybrid fish. I'm waiting for all of my cichlid experts here to tell me what they are, and nobody can tell me. See, that guy's got some blue on him. That's probably female, because these guys here that have no blue on them. I have one dominant male in the tank, and it's probably that guy. I know what those two are. I know what that one is. I have a baby there. And there's another baby in here somewhere. There's a few of them. I also have a bristle nose pleco in here. It's an albino bristle nose. So, these guys are enjoying life down here. 125 gallon African cichlid tank. Doing beautiful. You know, guys, one thing is gonna get on my nerves real quick. It's not actually getting on my nerves, it's when. This is my, my tanks, I do them my way. You guys understand that, I appreciate all the comments. You know, comments don't bother me. But when somebody tells me that I need to lose the plastic decor with African cichlids, I'm not going to because these guys will eat anything you put in the tank plant-wise. They can't destroy the plastic decor. That's why it's in there. So, comment on the fish, don't comment on the decor. You know, it's, it's my hobby, I'm gonna do it my way. I just don't like it. I don't mind if you give me a comment and say, hey, this is what you should do, but don't tell me to get rid of it because it looks nasty. I don't like that. And yes, if you're taking that personal, it was you. I hate that. South American cichlid tank. Everybody's doing fine. I lost my one angel, the one I told you I thought was gonna die. It made it another three or four days. It died. It ate this morning, or last, yesterday morning, and I found it dead in the substrate last night after I did the puffer fish tank. 240 gallon Severum Oscar Geophagus tank. I just added another Siamese algae eater, so I now have five. I finally found the other one that was at the fish store that I was missing. I got it today when I was there. As you can see, these guys are all fine. There are plastic plants in this tank. Geophaguses are earth eaters. They move the sand around. If you remember right, that was all buried. Look at that, they unburied it. I haven't done anything in this tank. They unburied the big piece of driftwood. Once again, I haven't done anything in this tank. They move sand. They are sand sifters. This rage an idiot in her dirty tank. That's what we clean tonight. I may do a video of me cleaning her tank. This guy down here is fine. I did do something a little bit ago. And uh, I'll show you here in a second. As you can see, my baby cichlids are fine. They're all eating, they're all alive. My goop bays, all alive with their plastic plants, their little plastic platform, their plastic decor. Yes, it's freaking plastic. I understand that. But I moved these guys down here. They went from a 29 gallon quarantine tank to a 50 gallon tank that my Jaguar cichlid was in. Done. Jaguar's gone, rehomed. Here's the puffers. I got the lights off. I just fed them some blood worms. Looks like they ate a little bit of it. Jaguar cichlid right there with it in its plastic decor. Oh, it just irks me. I hate that, man. If you don't like it, don't comment on it. Does your mom ever tell you if you don't like something, you ain't got nothing nice to say, don't say nothing at all? You should do that. 
blueberry. Hi, baby girl. All my platties. They're all doing great. I still have some babies back there, still growing. Have a flecko right there on the back of that log. You can see his tail right there. All my other guppies. Yes, I love guppies. Apparently one had babies again because those guys are little. There's Cory Dora in here. There's a Flecko in here. There's the Flecko. So Marwan, if you're watching, there's your fish. Let's see if I can get a little closer for you. There you go. Ooh, look at that guy. Stunning. It's a clown Flecko. He's doing great in here. There's my little Nugget of Rando right there. His name's not Nugget, but I just call him a Nugget because he's a little. Where is he? That guy right there is Nugget. But Christmas Eve in the fish room. I'm gonna feed these guys and I'm gonna go enjoy some time with my wife. You know, enjoy what Christmas is actually about, which is family. And at this moment, other than my wife, my nephew, and my mom and dad, that's all the family I have. I have my wife, I have my, my nephew, I have my mom and dad, and my wife's mom and dad. But other than that, I don't have any family. You know, family is what you're supposed to enjoy on holidays. You're supposed to get together. You're supposed to do things and be happy and be jolly. My family ruined that for me. So it is what it is. But you guys, Merry Christmas. Thank you for watching. Enjoy your holiday with your family. Enjoy your fish. Enjoy your hobby. And just forget the haters. Enjoy your hobby your way. If your fish are alive and healthy, just alive and healthy. Let them be alive and healthy. Yes. Plastic. It's your hobby. Do it your way. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year.